Hello, everybody. We are live. Sorry about the confusion that there's two of these listed. Um, yeah, I was transferring my phone from my hand to put do by my hand, you know, to set up all the stuff and put all the description in, and then I was put it on here and uh, I fumbled it and I pushed a wrong button and lost it. And now it it lists two of them going live at seven, but it seems like. The supreme majority of you got the right one, so congratulations to you. I think there was, when I just looked, there was two people waiting in the wrong one, so sorry about that. That one's not going to go live. Unless YouTube was smart and combined the two, I highly, highly doubt that. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Diacure de la Main and uh, Defected Red, Derek Nelson, Kyle Lamy, Random Rob, how's it going, man? It's good to see you. Mad J. Feel like I just talked to you like uh, an hour ago. <laughs> um, Randy F. Aberdeen Blades. Thank you very much for coming out. I do very much appreciate it. Bruising Blades for this October 18th of 2020. Yes, I am doing a giveaway of a pretty pricey knife. Uh, I'm not going to do that until 8.30. It is, or sorry, 7.30. I'm used to doing these at 8. Uh, it's 7.30, so in 29 minutes. And um, I will tell you how to win that at that time. It's a $199 concept, concept, whatever you're supposed to say. Everyone will find out at 7.30 how to uh, how to win that one. So uh, we will do that. I will say, I don't want to get too much into what my third, what my uh, 20,000 sub giveaway is going to be. But um, it's so ridiculous that I decided to give away a $200 knife early instead that's how insane I'm going to do uh, three uh, three different prizes. All of them are better than a $199 knife. So um pretty freaking excited about it. I just got the last one, the confirmation of the last one, one that I've really been chasing um, less than an hour ago. So really, really excited. Somebody asked, what's my favorite truck knife? Um, I just keep a Mora in my truck. They're cheap and they're cool and fixed blades seem like a good idea to have around in the truck. So uh, the beer tonight, it is bruising blades. This is an air danger. I've been feeling a bit homesick lately, especially with all this stuff going on. I really wish I was back in Germany for a little bit <laughs> and I didn't get to go back this year. So uh, with all the, the global catastrophe. So uh, the global bastard is one of my favorite wrestling channels call it. So um, yeah, an air dinger tonight, drinking some, some gem and beer. I lived in an area that was mostly Bitburger, which Bitburger is fine. I like Bitburger as well, but uh, I was a rebel and I used to buy Airdinger in the uh, the little half liter bottles all the time and uh, and drink that. Mmm, Airdinger tastes like home. Oh, you guys think I'm German? I'm not. I'm half Irish, half Scottish, right down the middle. I just lived in Germany for a long time and I I, I really miss it. Hey, Oaken, how's it going? Um, lots of cool knives to talk about out here for sure before we get away to the uh, to the giveaway. Oh, RDK says you got a Chavez 229 from Blade HQ coming mail. Oh, I almost got one. You got the last one. You can lord that over people. I definitely would. But I'm uh, I'm kind of a jerk. But uh, yeah, I almost bought one. Hey, Zach, stuff, thank you very much. Very generous donation. I appreciate it. Yes, the front, the... Uh, the, uh, yep, Super Chat's open and all that stuff. Um, thinking of Front Flipper, any suggestions? We'll get to that in a minute, Defected Red. Um, I have a, a Riot that I really, really like, but uh, I have another Riot out right now, so we'll switch that out. But, uh, yeah, I did get a couple Vero Engineering knives. You guys ask about these all the time. I got a couple loaners. Uh, this is the Impulse. Uh, we'll bring out the Synapse in a little bit. Thank you very much to Screaming Pirate for, uh, for loaning these to me. He made it very clear he would not sell them to me. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but yeah, it's uh, these are these are pretty cool. I do kind of get it. And made by Best Tech, and man, they kill it. These the quality on these, there is nothing to complain about. And I really like the unique pocket clip. It's kind of like a spring clip, but it's also milled, which is just really cool. This is the uh, Timascus one on this Impulse. The other one has a standard one. But it's uh, it's really nice. Um, you know me, I like a Tanto. Vero Engineering has also, by the way, been very responsive. I reached out to them a couple of questions, where it was made, and all that stuff. Immediate responses. Uh, 
and they're coming out with a Synapse XL, I believe, next month. And I already told them I want one. They'll make sure I get one, so I will have one of those to review. Because uh, I do like the Synapse a little bit better than this Impulse, but we'll, we'll bring that out here in a little bit. Um, another review coming out this week. This is the uh, Spyderco Rock Jumper. You guys know I have been pretty... Um, vocal about not liking the Japanese fancy plastic VG-10 Spydercos. The only one I really like is the Dragonfly, but no, this one, this one's gotten me. I really, really, really like this. It's just the Ergos are superb. I like me a Warren Cliff. My Dragonfly is also a Warney. Uh, just a great freaking knife. The Spyderco Rock Jumper is really, really cool. I think they're $87, which is still kind of... Ugh. But, uh, man, I, I do really, really like it. It does look like a Warney Delica a little bit. I, I like the Ergos better. It fills the hand a lot better than a Delica. That's something I never really loved about the Delica. The Delica felt a bit thin and dainty in my hands. This one does not. Um... I'm going to allow your posts, Richard. They they flagged it, but now it's uh now it's up. Oh well, okay. Eh? 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 Uh next the React Coyote. Just got this in this week. Um I love I love the knife. A uh, couple things I was really disappointed about for Riot. I managed to fix both of them. You have to wait for the review for that, but uh, a couple little things. I will say it needed it needed to be serviced when I got it, uh, quite desperately, which is uh, not not usual for Riot. Um, usually, this is the first Riot I've ever had an issue with. Luckily, I took care of it in you know fifteen minutes. But uh, yeah, a bit of a recurve, but not so much that I can't handle it. I'll talk more about that in the review as well. But I have some pretty decent ceramic rods, so and a means by which to hold them. So, uh, yeah, I'll be able to sharpen it fine. But I, I think I am going to keep it around, though, because I for a little bit anyway. Probably not forever, but look at that backspacer. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, Paul says, uh, Riot makes a lot of boring silver knives. Yeah, I was kind of... I like a lot of stuff Riot makes. I didn't like a lot of... stuff stuff with Riot names on it. So I searched out two that I thought would really, you know, blow my skirt up, as I say. One is the Bushido I'll bring out shortly. I love the Bushido. The Bushido I will have for a very long time. And this one I also like a lot, too. So uh, Riot's kind of, kind of getting me back. And yeah, just look at the, look at the inlays on this thing. They're just awesome. I will say they're kind of a pain in the arse to get off when you want to disassemble it. Yeah, because these two 8 mil screws just hold the inlay on you got to pop that off and then there's some t6s inside to actually get it apart but uh it came apart okay just a bit more comp a tiny bit more complicated than other knives but not horrible you'll see it all in the full review and next up uh the wee gava very 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 happy with this i have to say um very thin very slight fairly thin but very slicey and um it's just i like their bronze like i said in when i my unboxing i wish it was a bit more bronzy like my my minax was minax that's off on its way to somebody else so i don't have it but uh this is technically that same black bronze but they just didn't they didn't knock it back as much you can see the bronze coming through a little bit it has bronze hardware but i really liked the way that the other one was knocked back more Tristan Murphy says sharp maker. No, I'm um, actually, I got some rods that fit my uh, old Lansky turn box, which is not a fancy box, but I got some fancier rods for it. The company I got them from, name escapes me and they're out of business now, but uh, I got some round rods for that. So I use that, set it at 20 degrees and keeping stuff touched up. I think uh, I, Patty's Potato Peelers, if I remember correctly, it was a long time ago. He did a video about sharpening recurves and he was 100% right where he just said, you got to keep on them. You can't let a recurve get super dull. If you let it get super dull, then yeah, they're a pain to sharpen. But if you keep up on them, they're fine. Uh, but yeah, the Gava is just... It's one of my favorite Wii's in a long time. I know it's not particularly striking looking. But it is if you get in close. 
Lots of cool milling. Again, I just wish that black wash was worn off a bit more to show the bronze underneath, but that'll happen over time. Nice little mini floating backspacer. Really nice pocket clip. And again, I love the bronze hardware, I always do. I almost fumbled it and dropped it like Metal Complex last night on its giveaway. That was so funny. Um, and then next uh, we have the uh, DPX Gear Urban Hest Mill Spec, I think they call this one. And this is uh, one uh, still made in the USA by Southern Grind. Here's the shiny blade. Someone corrected me in the unboxing. I thought this was the 212 version. This is a bit more because it's 154 CM and the polished blade. It's actually uh, 280. Which is still, I think, I think completely fine, but or CPM 154. But yeah, you can see my little reflection on there. And hello, D2 D2 Home Fantasy. Hello, Jeremy Russell. How you doing, man? Got a new patron. I just got an email about. By the way, guys, uh, I do have a huge sale going up on the Patreon right now. So if uh, you want some good deals on some knives, I'm blowing out a lot of stuff, and it uh, Patreons get 24 hour early access at least. So. Uh, this one I probably won't put up on the full-on sale until Tuesday. So you've got till Tuesday to get your hands on some cool stuff. There's even a watch in there, because why not? Uh, I've already reviewed this one. You guys know the Civivi Ortis is awesome. 40 bucks, So good. Such a good knife for $40. Go back and watch the review. I'm not going to beat it all down again. Is that filthy? No. I'm not gonna beat it into the ground again, but um, yeah, it's uh that pivot. The, why does why does everybody care about the pivot? Are you really gonna beat on it hard enough that the size of the pivot matters? It has a slightly smaller pivot than some of the others. It's forty dollars. It's forty dollars. Hey, Klaus, how you doing? And then of course my uh, XM24 just brought that out here because it was another one of the newer knives. I need to have a drink. My throat's already going out of whack. I tried to record for you guys today. You can click that join button down below and I'm going to be doing exclusive videos for the members. I tried to record one that was going to be exam an example of what I do for um, exclusive videos. They're going to be non-knife content and I was just going to try to do that to show everybody what it's going to be like if you you know for these uh weekly or bi-weekly i'm not going to make a schedule for it but the member exclusive videos and i got some new software for my uh for my phone i do everything on my edit everything on my phone and i was really excited about it and it seemed great and then it it didn't <laughs> there was one little tiny thing i was trying to do and i screwed up the whole thing and i have to re-record the whole thing it's a long story but yeah i was going to do some um some watch reviews and it was gonna be these two this means kind of an overall about deep blue and how amazing this company is and how much i love deep blue and uh why you, if you want a nice dive watch you should really take a look at deep blue that's kind of what it was it was like 15 minutes and then it just it just sucked what do you think about random rob we have the watch expert on here what do you think about deep blues i love them i don't know if i've seen any on yours or not but uh yeah not wearing a deep blue today, though. Today, I was wearing my uh, my communist Russian spy watch, my Vostok Amphibia uh, scuba dude with a Barton leather NATO strap on it. I love this watch. It has so many flaws, but God, I love it. It's just, it just gets me. I wonder what Random Rob thinks about it. Random Rob is an excellent watch YouTuber, by the way. He's still on here. Um... I watch his channel all the time, but yeah, I like me the Vostoks. Oh, welcome aboard, Richard fan. I do appreciate it. Okay, and my watch game is lacking bad. I will agree with uh, Nick that uh, with Papa Nick Shabazz, uh, don't don't get into watches. But I don't I don't have that many. I've only got like a dozen, and the most expensive one I have is three four hundred bucks. But I was going to buy Hamilton this week to celebrate my 20,000 subs, but I'm kind of mad about how long it took me, and I kind of got depressed about it. So I didn't spend the money on the Hamilton, but I did get a really nice Orient that kind of looks like a Hamilton. But uh, Duquer and De La Ma, I'm just, 
I know I'm butchering your name, but I'm kind of doing it on purpose to make a joke. I'm, I'm so excited I'll receive my my card of scales for my GB2 today. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, because you're, you're ahead. Probably assume you're from France. From South... Yeah. Let me, which Hamilton? It was a khaki with, a, like, kind of a parchment-colored dial. And then I found a... Um, uh, I found an Orient that looked very, very similar. It's not like a copy. It's just it just looks similar because it's just a pilot watch with a parchment um, dial, and it's uh, it's really, really nice. And I did not know they even made it. So, and I like Orients. I have a Bambino, and I like it a lot. So, thought I'd get that. Uh, I'm digging an eighty dollars submarine submarine wannabe I received today. Yeah, it's it's kind of. Not quite as, I guess it's not a Submariner, but yeah, it's kind of what Deep Blues are. I mean, they're, um, they're a micro brand. They have uh, Seiko internals, but, but really nice Seiko internals, so it's fine. Is the Rock Jumper the best FR and Spider Co? Yeah, it's the one that I like the most. I will say it's the best FR and Spider Co. In my tastes, in my tastes, it is because I really like a Warren Cliff, and the Ergos on this just work for me so superbly well. This is one that I got, honestly, for clickbait, because it's a new Spider Co. And I thought, yeah, people will want to watch that. So I got it, and no, I, this ain't going anywhere. I really like this. This may be a regularly used beater. I'm still not in love with Spider Co. VG10, especially for the price. I think they do it a bit too soft. I think they charge a bit too much, but it's, it's really nice. It does cut extremely well right now because it's new. But I just love the ergos. I love the way it feels. Um, do not get into watches. Yes. I swore that Spider Co. is the rock jumper. It is the rock jumper. That's what I said. Uh, is there any jumping on the spider hump? There isn't. But it's such an aggressive hump. I don't really feel like it needs it. Watch hobby is so addicting. I somehow beat the addiction and got out. Well, good for you. I'm just getting in. But uh, I'm doing good so far. Though. I'm, keeping, I'm keeping it inexpensive. Uh, wait, I see you said you were going to do the review on the Steelbill Cobol. Is it too late? I thought I did. I had one. I thought I did. If I didn't, I missed it, and it's gone, and I I just didn't. So that may have happened. Oh, I know what happened to that one, because I talked to Steelbill about it. No, that was in one of my uh, my horrible phone crashes. Uh, I had a horrible phone crash in... Uh, was it Marchish? And I lost a lot of videos that were on saved on my phone, and I thought they were saved to the iCloud, and they were not. And yeah, I'm very eager to get rid of this phone in a couple weeks. I'll tell you that when the iPhone 12 comes out, I'm getting a new one because this iPhone XS Max I have is the worst iPhone I've ever had, and I've had a lot of them, and this one is just horribly unreliable but yeah i lost like seven videos that hadn't been uploaded yet 154 cm is not better than n690 it's decent better edge from 154 cm i don't know what that you're oh you're responding to somebody um i'm thankful i don't collect watches knives and pews are enough for me to, see i don't collect pew pews so i'm i'm good what do you think of the rock jumper i just said i think it's probably the it's my favorite of the FRN G10 Japan Spider Coast, for sure. Class has still got my iPhone 5. iPhone 5 was the best iPhone I ever had. That thing was fantastic. And uh, I only upgraded it because I finally shattered the back so bad that uh, I had to duct tape it back together to hold it together for a couple more weeks so the new iPhone came out because it shattered so bad that if, because that was the one that had the glass in the front and the back. And if you shook it, it felt it like the battery would come loose and the phone would turn off. But now the new iPhone 12 looks like an iPhone 5 again. So I'm really excited about that. It's got the flatter edges around it. I'm really excited about the iPhone 12. And it's supposedly the uh, microphones are awesome. And obviously for me, excuse me, on YouTube, I want you to be able to pick up things like that, like that burp. So <laughs> I really am excited about the, the better mics. Uh, when you're a YouTuber, you kind of got to upgrade the iPhone every now and then. I'm still on an XS Max um, from a couple years ago. So I've been pretty decent. I only upgrade every couple of years. 
uh, Rock Jumper or Ortis Monster Racing kind of totally different. I mean, I guess they're sort of the same size. I mean, value-wise, the Ortis, because it's less than half the price. But I don't know. I don't really see them as being that similar. I think this is a bit more refined, classy feeling. It's a little cheaper. This is kind of more of a I'm wearing gloves and doing crap kind of knife. I still rock my iPhone 7 Plus. That was the last one that I had. Um, excited to stock the delivery guy on Friday for my new phone. Oh, cool, Zach stuff. You get one of the the other iPhone 12s. I'm waiting for the uh, I'm waiting for the Pro. I always get the most expensive iPhone because I do the finance thing, so it doesn't really matter. It costs like eight or nine bucks a month more for the most expensive comparison to the the cheapest. 12 Pro. I thought that they that I just looked and said the Pruder wasn't even available till November 6th. Um, at least the one that I wanted. Um, I'm not really obsessed about getting on the Pruder. I mean, this one's still working fine, but I'll get one when I it can get one. Sometimes buying the very, 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 very first oh, the Pro Max. Yeah, that's the one I'm getting. Um, the the uh, I always get the most expensive one because again, it doesn't cost me much more, and it's a, you, I, I don't upgrade that often, so it's it's fine. Um, but uh, Josh was like the the size of the twelve mini. Yep, yeah, my stupid old man eyes. I like the bigger one because I can crank the size of the text up a little bit more. Hey, Freedom Van, how's it going? We are nine minutes away from this giveaway. Got 130 of you on here. It's cool. I'm going to do it in a pretty unique way, and I hope I hope it works out. I try and do these, these giveaways in different ways all the time, and then I always say, well, I'm not doing that again because it's a, it's a nightmare. But uh, this time I'm going to actually... Uh, I think this one's going to work. Um, uh, what's the brew tonight? It's uh, an Airdanger German beer. I was feeling homesick, so I got some air there. What's the knife on the far right? I feel like I've seen it on Best Damn EDC. I'm not really sure if you saw it on there, but it is a Vero Engineering Impulse, which I'm going to put away and bring out the other one, because I have two Vero Engineering knives. I never thought I'd get my hands on one, because they sell out so fast. But Screaming Pirate was nice enough to loan me two, so this is the Synapse. And there's a Synapse XL coming out, I believe, next month. And uh, I will be on the list for that. I'm not quite sure how big it's going to be, but I do like the Synapse a little bit better. So, yeah, you're going to see full, re full reviews of this at some point this week. Maybe, maybe you're going to get to determine that, and maybe that's how I'm giving away the concept. Um, and then we're going to swap out Riots, too, because somebody asked about the Bushido. Where is it in here? There it is. The Bushido front flipper, I really, really like it. I think somebody's asked about a really nice front flipper. Yeah, if you can find one of these, these are awesome. I think they're sold out at the moment most places, but if you can find one in the secondary, 246 bucks. Um, M390, really nice micarta. Titanium frame lock, or I mean the liner lock, but it's, it's really more of a frame lock. I mean, look at the thickness of those liners. And the action's great. Yeah, exactly. It's like a, it's like a frame lock cover with a scale. It's it's really not exactly what I would call a liner lock, but it's a it's a quasi liner lock. Um, love things except for the blade shape. Yeah, but it works well, and I kind of like the look of it. You know, a lot of people I think get kind of hung up on the what it looks like on the spine. Does that really matter that much? Not really. It's just, I want to know more like what the actual cutting edge shape is like. I don't really give much of a crap about this. As long as it it isn't horribly uncomfortable if I, you know, choke up a little bit or anything like that. I just want it to look good and, and work well. And, and, you know, this this part is what matters as far as how it works. A lot more than, you know, than this part does. Does that make any sense? Um, yeah, I guess there's a little bit about, you know, your, how much force you're putting down, blah, 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 blah. stuff that you're never going to notice, uh, day to day. Uh, very patiently await, 
Waiting very patiently for a restock of the QC waypoint. It's imminent. I do know that. I was talking to them the other day. I know it's coming much sooner rather than later, and I'm going to put my hinderer away, and just to be a jerk face, I'll bring out the waypoint, because <laughs> somebody just mentioned it, and it's right here next to me. Uh, I did a thing in order to my car to scale and working finish hardware from DLT for my XM18. It's going to be a good week. Oh, cool. They did they, they my car to scale on, on DLT. Nice. Uh, how is the micarta on the budget cryo cairo i've never had one if you're talking about the concept one uh have i missed had attended the kiddo nope we still have five more minutes for him to do the giveaway um and it'll be a few minutes after that before i announce it so um i like qc stuff is that the waypoint or the iq that is the waypoint called in uh I have a Hinder or Bowie coming in the mail. Also, RDK says, yeah, I was really, really tempted, and then I'm probably going to miss out on it. But uh, hopefully I'll have the money at the right time. And uh, on their live show, USMA Blade said they do have Battle Black ones coming, hopefully this week. I shouldn't have told you that. But, yeah, I'm going to be haunting for it. I just want something Battle Black. I don't care that it's Bowie. I just don't have a Battle Black Hinder, and I really want one. How do we enter the giveaway? I haven't even started it yet. I will explain it at uh, 8.30. What's, what has been your favorite brand this year? That's a that's a good one, John. Um, John M. Walker, what is my favorite brand this year? I bought more Protex than anything else. But... That's just kind of personal taste. As far as the brand, I think, is doing the best job. Um, it's going to be controversial, and I'm not even sure that any of their knives are going to make my top 10 of the year, but SOG has so greatly improved. I do very much like that. I always kind of root for them a little bit. Um, Riot's gotten back on my radar again. Uh, the brands are doing good. Civivi still killing it in the budget stuff. Um, CGRB, I like a lot of their stuff. I really hate a lot of their stuff. So, yeah. American Law Man. Somebody said, so I have to say it. Uh, recently got a Protec Strider. Gotta say, snaps like a champ. That is one, uh, Protec I do not have. Oh, yeah, SOG. I'm not allowed to say SOG anymore. I refuse to change. Uh, hey, Professor EDC, thanks for stopping by. Um, hey, Slicey, what's the best full-size XM18 size Protec for my first... Ooh, XM18 size. The TR3, I guess, is close to that, but they're still going to be a lot lighter weight. They don't really make anything, maybe a TR5. I've never had a TR5, but I know it's a little bit. New Kershaw Launch 13 looks tempting. Dustin Kelly says, I'm definitely getting one of those. I definitely told one of my suppliers I need that one. So hopefully I'll have that in the next week or so. I want a React K K2 with damage. I've heard a lot of people say a lot of good things about the new K2 reissue. The Launch 13 from Kershaw looks like pure evil, which is not an insult. Uh, like the Dozier design socks. I'm not sure exactly which ones those are. What model was we? It's the Gava. I'll be reviewing that this week. It's a fairly new one. 250? Something around there? Um, really nice knife. Very impressed with it. Wii's another company, I guess, I'd put on that list. Just because, again, a lot of proper Wii's I was not too into. But I've actually really liked a couple of them this year. Um, I've always liked Civivi's, but some of the Wii's I wasn't really into. But uh, uh, Did you get the Impulse Mini or the Axon from Vero. I don't know which one this is. It's a loner. I haven't really looked at all the paperwork. It looks like a, I don't know. I don't know which one this is. I'll find out when I go to do research on it. I just got it. So, uh, uh, what was your first Grail? Um, I have. Well, I guess my first Grail was the Spenza Thirty One or Twenty One back when they were a thing. The Spenza Twenty One, and I got one of those and I sold it. Don't really miss it. And then the second was. Um, 
Benchmade Anthem, which I've had two of them. I had one, sold it, and immediately regretted it and bought another one. Uh, Fair and Forge Wii Exec is amazing. But that's a Fair and Forge Exec made by Wii. I'm talking about stuff that actually is just Wii branded. Um, Sebenza or Waypoint. Totally different knives, Joshua Phelps. Everybody asks me that all the time. They are totally different knives. This is a much thinner, slicier sort of... I know it doesn't look like it because it doesn't have fancy colors. It's almost more of a gentlemanly kind of slicey, you know cut through an apple kind of knife whereas Sabenz is a real like working knife they're totally different I I don't know why people keep asking that I know people think they look alike I don't even see that honestly um people ask me that all the time but I don't get it okay to 7 30 so the giveaway we're gonna part the sea like Moses that's the only time you'll hear a biblical reference on this channel but we're gonna Actually, we can't part the sea entirely because you'll see why in a moment. We're going to put some knives away is what we're going to do. And then we are going to give away this knife that I'm about to show you. As soon as I get some more knives put away, I'm actually just sticking them under my legs in my chair because I'm that far out of room. So these guys can stay. Why did I put my other re out of way? These guys are coming out for a reason. So, tomorrow, you guys get to choose what review I do. That's how we're going to give this away. But it's not going to be like a poll and count everything up scientifically like the like a Russian-manipulated election. Um, we're actually just going to do a kind of random thing. And what we are giving away, I'll explain the randomness in a moment. What we're giving away is this Concept Warrior. Somebody said it's their favorite concept. Well, guess what? You're going to get to win one. So, I'm giving away this Concept Warrior. $199. Uh, pretty cool knife. Uh, but I'm giving it away. It is, like I said, my 20,000 sub giveaway is so good that I had this reserved for one of the prizes. And I got so much good stuff that this ain't making the cut. That's how good the stuff in my 20,000 sub giveaway is, is that this didn't make the cut. So um, I'm going to give it away tonight. And what you got to do is tell me down below, which review do you want me to, to do tomorrow? There is two that are two first. Do you want me to review both of these Vero's? I'm going to review both of these together because they're not currently available. So I'm going to review those both together. I'm going to review these Riots both together because they are, one of them is not currently available. Or do you want the Wii Gava? So put in the comments, you guys are already starting, Concept, Riot, or Wii. And it's not going to be a poll. Like I said, what we're going to do is if I can put the code in my backup phone correctly. Um, and remember how an old iPhone 6 works. I don't know how to get to the timer. There we go. Um, I'm going to pick a random amount of time. Just a random amount of time. There. I've done it. I've hit start. And the last comment I see is going to be... You're going to get it. It's not right now. I'll tell you. It's not right now. So all you guys spamming me right now. Waste of time. It's going to be a little bit. Because I want to keep you guys watching. So... You might want to hold off for a few minutes uh, before you start with this spammy dough. Um, this always happens whenever I say I'm going to pick a random time. And everybody just goes, well, the random time must be right now. If I say it's going to be a random time, it's not right now. It's going to be in a bit. It's going to be in a bit. So, uh, yeah. And then when that alarm goes off, the first comment I see that says, Riyadh. Firo or we is going to win the concept. Somebody asked me about something that is not in relation to those things. It'll die off in a second, and then people won't know. Yes, the floodgates have opened. Uh, what are you carrying today? Oh, today I had actually this in my pocket. I had the, uh, the Riot Coyote. Um, 
You can't put the genie back in the box. <laughs> nope. Did you get the clip for your sway back? I didn't. I'm, I'm kind of gotten... I think I begrudgingly accepted it the way that it is, uh, Colin. <laughs> or Callan. I don't know how to say your name. Callan, I think. Yeah, I think I've just begrudgingly accepted it the way that it is. Uh, what's your favorite Riot knife that isn't on the table? That would be the uh, New Torrent. I had one of those and I sold it and I miss it. But that was the last Riot branded knife that interested me. Um, a lot of the other ones, the Jack, I don't understand that thing at all. Um, a lot of the ones that other people liked, I just don't get. So, um, I don't think people can... I think people compare the QC Waypoint to Benza because they don't think the CRK is a working knife. Consider more of a gent by some. I guess it kind of is by price for your vein. You're probably right, but it really isn't. Like the all my all my Chris Reeves get used. They're actually some of the first ones I reach for when I want something I know is going to get beat on. You seen the Viper Cotlide? Have not. I do not know what that is. Uh, what do you think is? Doing my card the best these days. Well, th this Ria is the first one I have, but it's pretty darn good. <clears throat> I do have to say. And this is burlap my card, so it's not super smooth, but it's not meant to be. So I'm because it's burlap. So I'm assuming the regular my card must be extremely smooth. Uh, where does the flat spot on the bug out pivot screw go? Like on the clock, is it twelve or six? There's no way I'd remember that off the top of my head, Itchy Butt. Um. It's a Vox design color. No, I, I don't, yeah. I'd probably like it then. I like most Vox stuff, but it does not uh, does not ring a bell off the top of my head. I was about to ask my card is smooth. It's pretty smooth. It's pretty darn smooth for sure. It's very schlacky, shellacky. Um, it's pretty darn smooth, but yeah, you can feel kind of some ridges, which I like a lot, honestly. Just It feels like honest, real micarta. Uh, beer is, beer is a fun thing. Very much so. You guys are still just spamming away in the comments and there's still some time. I just pulled it down here to have a look-see and, yep, yeah, there's still a little bit. Um, thought you already reviewed uh, that Burlap Micarta. I had Burlap Micarta, um, aftermarket scales from Sharp Dress Knives and they were very, very nice. Uh, have you thought about accepting brew donations? Yeah, somebody tried to send me some, but it didn't work out. It was shipping beer in the mail. It's kind of a pain in the arse. I don't think you're technically supposed to do it. Um, are we playing? Yes. Uh, do you want to see a double review of the Vero's, a double review of the Riots, or the We Gava? Um, yeah, hit that like button. It's only 77 likes, and there's 161 of you on here. No, Jesse, we're we're getting close enough. They don't have to stop now. I'm gonna be nice and say, yeah, you guys, you guys can go nuts now because uh, we are getting relatively close. Now this event is the gold standard, but it's really hard to read comments. You guys talking? But is there anything similar for cheaper? Which is it for the forty one? Similar for cheaper? I have to think about that one. Similar to Sabenza for cheaper. What would I pick? ZTO562 tie, which is more similar to a hinderer, but still kind of that same sort of built up sort of thing. This is going to be really, 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 really hard to uh, catch the right thing on this. I can't even read. It's just honestly going to be the first one I see, guys, once uh, this alarm goes off. And it's probably not going to be accurate but you're getting a free knife, so deal is what my response is. I always say, if you want to make people mad, give them something for free. That's when I always get the most complaints is when I do giveaways. I get the most nasty emails and comments when I give away something for free. Downvotes, all that stuff. I didn't win it, so I'm angry. Love your Fair and Forge Minax. It is a cool knife. I personally couldn't get past the looks of it, but that is definitely an aesthetic thing. TPK is on here. Cool. Good to see you. No good D goes unpunished. That is absolutely correct. 
and I was supposed to put Y on there. Uh, I'm trying to find actual comments instead of just all the stuff by here. Thank you, Zach, very much. I appreciate it. Yes, the super chat is open. If you want to kick in a few shekels, always appreciated. And if you want to click the join button, you are going to start getting... Oh, there we go. I'm going to give it to uh, Sean Bryan. Sean Bryan said the Wii. That's the first one I saw after I made the obnoxious noise. So, Sean Bryan, we're all done now. How do I stop this thing? Old phone, different buttons. Sean Bryan, I think I've sent you something before. But email me, slicedicey75 at gmail.com. I am actually going to the post orifice on the morrow, so I will ship it out to you. I already have the box all laid out and everything for it. So, yeah, you are going to win this very nice concept warrior $199 value, and now this is where my viewership drops in half, probably. But, uh, yeah, so the Wii Gava will be reviewed tomorrow night, which I didn't care either way. Uh, one of these is out of stock everywhere, so I didn't mind putting that off a bit, and the Vero's are both out of stock. So, yeah, the Wii Gava is one you can actually buy. My screen just went gray. Let's see what happens with that. Why does that happen all the time on my live streams now? I lose my screen. There we go. I'm back now. Uh, can we start the annoying comments now? I think those were the annoying comments. I think you guys will now. We can just talk about knives and be like normal people, and it'll be it'll be really nice and fun and and sweet and and good. Uh, I think. Oh, that was a loud bang. I knocked over a lighter. That made a lot more noise than I thought it'd be. Um. Wow, thank you, Swami. Very, very nice gift. I very much appreciate that. Or donation, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Garrett says, do you have a preferred sharpener? Um, as far as the really expensive guided systems, I only really use the Viper Sharp. That's what I have. I will say there is one that I can't show you right now. I don't think. They're not answering me. They sent me one. I didn't ask for it. I can't find it online anywhere. So I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it. But it's awesome. And if I know this company, it's probably going to be 100, 100 bucks, 120 bucks. And it is so cool. So, um, yeah, I would. I wish I could show it to you, but I don't know if I'm allowed to or not. They sent it to me with no instructions and no email or anything. And I just don't know. I don't know if I'm allowed to show it to you. I'm going to figure out, here, it, it, it has, it has no logos. We're just going to do one quick flyby, and that's all you're going to see. That's all you're going to see, because I don't know if I'm allowed to show it or not. I covered up the logos, it's one quick flyby. Um, but it's, it's pretty great. You can probably tell from the text on it now that I'm looking, I'm, I'm a few seconds behind when I'm looking at it, but, uh, um, get sued. No, I won't get sued. They just won't send me anything anymore. <laughs> but, uh, no, they're, I have a very good relationship with this company and they send me a lot of stuff. So, um, yeah. Is that Ryan with jerk LARP? I don't know. Another flyby, please. Nope. That's all you're getting. I'm maybe I'm totally allowed to show it to people. Maybe I'm supposed to be showing it to people, but they didn't say yay or nay i got it and i'm like this thing is awesome i looked it up online to see how much it costs and it's not it's not available it's not even listed on their own damn website so i have no clue what's up with this thing but man i like it i will say my uh spider coca para was very very dull and i spent five minutes on it with that thing and it's screaming sharp not mirror edge but not far from it, it took five minutes they make you sign an NDA, you can you can talk about it. Yeah, probably, but I like to try and keep a good relationship with people. So I don't give people good reviews just because I like them, but I will be nice and not not talk about things until I'm supposed to because, because I like them. And I like this company a lot, so we're going to wait. I will promise you that if by this time next week when I do the live show, if they haven't replied to my emails asking, can I talk about this thing, then I'll talk about it. Hydrate. Thank you very much.
Uh, Matt Jane says, sending back that Teravantium, you should just not and keep it. Um, okay, this is an embarrassing thing I'm going to say here on the live show. And I don't know who's going to see it. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to, I have to go back through my Instagram messages. I'll probably figure it out tomorrow, but I don't know who sent me this. I didn't keep the box and I thought you sent me an email so I thought I could just search in my email and find it. Apparently you didn't. You must have Instagram messaged me. And I don't know who sent this to me. So if you sent this to me, email me. Don't try and steal it because I'll remember by the email. I'm not a moron. If I don't recognize your name, I'll know that you didn't send it to me. But uh, yeah, I don't I don't remember who sent this to me. And I want to send it back. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. The guy said I could keep it for a couple months, so he's not in a big hurry about it. But, um, yeah. I thought Terrain sent it directly. Oh, well, I think they might have, but it belongs to somebody else. It, it's not mine. And no, 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 somebody, no. The guy sent it directly from his house. But I don't, I can't find the email about who sent it. So... Um, that was the Makupsi incident. Yeah. At least I didn't, uh, I didn't drop a knife on top of another knife during a live giveaway video last night. That was hilarious and brought me very much joy. Uh, Clincher, get a hellhound, got one a week after slicing love. Yes, the hellhound is amazing. I don't know what someone was asking, but... Hellhound is, this is my favorite microtech. It's a big old sucker, combat Trudon Hellhound, and but it's great. I really like it. Ironically, I I carry this more than my other microtechs that are smaller. Uh, do you find the Tzvigi Ortis too similar to the Dogma? No, it's smaller, Cauldron, and who cares? It's their own brand. If they want to make one that's similar to another, then let them knock themselves out. It's cheaper. Uh, it's just a little bit smaller. I have a Dogma here, and I have... Now you, you can see it's smaller. The scales are dramatically different. Um, the handle's actually thicker. Uh, on the Ortis than it is in the Dogma. I don't... Who cares if they look a little bit alike? It's their own brand. This is, this is a thicker knife. This is a longer slender knife. Uh, oh, thank you, Tristan. I appreciate it. What sharpening system do you recommend for someone with only one arm? Um, trying to place someone in a good direction. Man, I don't know. I have no experience with that whatsoever. Like I said, the only, one of the better guided systems, but I'm not really sure. Something with a really stable base because they can't hold on to it. Um, a KME or a Viper Sharp, I guess. I know where I can get a Demco MG8015. At what price is too much? Um, I have one here and I will be very honest with you and tell you exactly what I paid for it. Uh, this is my Micarta MG8015, and I paid 500 for it, and was very, very happy to. Um, I think they were like 650 new, so, uh, mine has been sharpened, which some people really don't like that in the collector market, so maybe that knocked the value down a bit. i pay, i pay 550 or 6 for one, I think, before I go crazy, but... Mm, that mirror edge on the MG8015. Yeah, it's got some schmutz on it because I use it. But uh, it's uh, an Apostle P edge. So, uh, yeah, that's who sharpened it. And he obviously did a great job, as he always does. This is the only Apostle P edge I have, and it is very, very beautiful. But I use this thing enough that fairly soon I'm going to have to ruin it. But um, which maybe that's why people don't like aftermarket edges on knives. Uh, itchy butt. Do you like Hitchin Timber leather products like the DC Pocket Organizers? Um, I've never had one. I like the look of them, but I've never actually had one. Um, Paul says, uh, what's your stance on Damascus Steel blades or other knife users? Damascus Steel depends on what it's made out of. Um, oh, actual Damascus Steel? I've never had any actual Damascus Steel. I thought you meant Damascus. Um, Damascus Steel, I never actually had any of it. Are all of your knives users? The answer I always give is I will use any of my knives. If I won't, if I'm so afraid to use it, it doesn't stick around. I will use any of them. There are some I prefer not to, but I'll carry anything. I'll throw anything in my pocket. 
but sometimes if I throw a really expensive knife in my pocket, like, um, what's a good example? Oh, I don't have it up here, but my, uh, Chris Reeves, Sabenza 31 with the night sky and everything on it. Um, I'll throw another knife in and I'll probably more, more, be more likely to use that, but I'll use any of my knives. There's none of my knives that I'm a, afraid not to use. Uh, Sal Kutera, thoughts on the Pair 3 Max? It winds up in my pocket more often than I thought. Um, I like it a lot. I like I like it the Maximeta. But I haven't had to sharpen it yet, so maybe that's why. But I don't. I think it's going to be a long time before I do. Got this to be masked on and have no use for it, but it's fun to show people. I got knives like that. Yeah, this thing. It's a combat true on. I don't, I don't need this thing. It's just cool. And again, uh, if you watch, go back and watch my uh, little interview with uh, Metal Complex, uh, the chats from the truck, the last one. Um, we had a long talk about how we like knives that are beat up, like uh, from the factory. So you don't have to worry about scratching up. It has the apocalyptic finish. The, it's got the distressed handle. It's totally fine. Uh, did you get a PM2 Max? May uh, no, I won't. I have an S45 PM2, and that's, that's plain enough for me. Uh, do you like the, PM, the Paramount 2 Tonto? Um, I've never had one, and no, I do not know when they're coming back in stock. Uh, what knife maker's experience, uh, warranty have you had bad experience with? Um, nobody really. Um, I got kind of annoyed with, uh, Sierra KT just because they weren't talking to me. I sent a knife off, and... It wasn't super late. I think they, they estimated to be returned within two weeks, and it took three. And like after two weeks and a couple of days, I emailed them, and I didn't hear anything back. And I was kind of annoyed they didn't email me back. But then they sent me a whole brand new knife, so it was fine. But I guess that's the closest I've really had. I haven't had to warranty a whole lot, but most warranties are pretty uncommunicative. Spider Co's is the same. They don't talk to you. You send the knife off. And it comes back. They don't give you any update on progress or anything like that. Um, carrying a mini grip. My 12-year-old son is carrying a PM2 Sprint Run on S35EN. Well, that's a 12-year-old that's a packing some heat. Carrying a TRM Atom. I had mine in my pocket the other day. Hey, Keith, how's it going? Good to see you here. You waited until after the giveaway stuff was all done. I really want to try a CRK Unum's on someday. Yeah, that's one of the few uh, Chris Reeves I, I have not. I mean, I've held one, but I've I've never like had one. Um, so I see you you recommend the half track. Trying to decide if say yeah, I love the half track. I like the half track better than the three inch XM eighteen. It just fits my hand better. I have one here. This is a Warncliffe exclusive from uh, from USMA Blade. It's a little thicker, but I don't know. It just fills my hand better. I have really long fingers, so I, I just like it a little better. But I am tempted to get another uh, three inch. If I miss out on the next mate team Bowie, I might get a three inch just to give it another shot. I probably won't keep it, but uh, I have a thirty one, but never used it. I have a small thirty one. I had a large thirty one, and I sold it, but because uh, I like the Encosi just a little bit better. Yep, Keith's late to work. Late to work today. I'm going to dock his pay by 15%. Just destroy the edge on your Delica. What What were you cutting? Tissue paper? But um, psh, that's a sick Delica burn. Yeah, I, I don't like Spider Coat G10, even though I just said I really like a knife that's in the Spider Coat G or VG10. I don't like Spider Coat's VG10. It's, it's it's not hot garbage, but it's close to it. And I am hydrating TPK. Thank you very much. Uh, cutting sheet metal with a Delica. Oh, Delica. I thought you said Delica. Delica. Yeah, you didn't cut sheet metal with a Delica. That's that's uh that's fake news. El Gato. Who's El Gato? That's what I call my cat all the time. 
Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it was a VG10 Delica. Yeah, toilet paper will do it. If you cut enough of it. Yeah, I don't know why I started calling my uh, my cat El Gato. Like, when I, we first got him when he was a little kitten, I would yell at him in Spanish. I don't even speak that much Spanish. I don't know why Spanish came out, but I would yell at him in Spanish. And now I still call him. When I'm mad at him, I call him El Gato. He knows when I say El Gato, he's doing something wrong. And he stops. He's a great cat. I like cats, and I'm not ashamed to say it. I know some guys want to pretend that they're dog guys. I'm a dog guy, too. God, my... My beloved dog, Blue, best animal I've ever owned in my life. I miss her every day. She cannot be replaced. Uh, she is, is amazing. My little dog now, Royal, she's fantastic too, but I like my kitty cats. I really do. I really like my kitty cats. They're so much more entertaining. They just they just do things that are stupid while you're watching them, and I like it. They're just so funny. Yeah, exactly, Blame Duster. I like both cats and dogs. I'm both. My Elgato is Gordo. Yeah, that's what I used to always call him because he was fat when he was a kitten. And I used to say, uh, El Gordo, El Gato. Uh, now it's his sister is the fat one. And I just call her fat ass. I don't like her enough to learn another language for her. <laughs> no, she's, she's all right. She's just kind of skittish. One of those. And uh, you own dog, cat owns you. I wouldn't say my, our cats own us. We cohabitate, I would say. You have a rack, a fat. You have pet raccoon that's fat. I've always thought like a perfectly tame raccoon would be very entertaining to watch. Come for the instant pot recipe. Stay for the cat chat. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make T-shirts about that. I did not do instant pot tonight. We did. Um, uh, I think I did this three weeks ago on this show too. I like guess it's an easy Sunday night. Sunday nights I'm always rushing around to get ready for the show, so I. Did a banquet fried chicken out of a box, which is really good if you cook it right. And uh, Southwestern, like, corn out of a can. And uh, Annie's mac and cheese out of a box. But it tasted really good. Lulu says, my poor cat is sick. I'm really sorry to hear that. Having sick animals is awful because they can't tell you what's going on. We have four puppies and two dogs and three cats and like 70 rabbits. Dad's an animal lover. Wow, that's a lot, Garrett. Try a Protect Malibu clip on the tier mat. I don't have a spare one. I like the TRM Adam clip. I have no desire to, to change it. TPK in the house. I was never a cat person until we got some funny little creatures. Yeah, exactly, Freedom Van. They're just more fun to watch. Like... Dogs, you have to, like, play with to be entertained with them. Cats will just walk up to you and do something stupid. And I love it. Whenever I have a stressful day, petting, petting my cat melts all that away. She even lets me pet her tummy. I hear from other folks' cats. Both my cats will let me do that, itchy butt. But one of them, it's a it's an 80% chance. Uh, the other one loves it. Uh, Perp Talk with for five bucks. Tackle Central Fishing says, yeah, but I mean, I, like I said, I like I like the Adam clip. I don't really feel a need to, to change it. Um, I'm thinking about getting a smaller spider co. Which one you prefer? Little Native. The Little Native is a fantastic knife, so I really do like the Little Native. I'm going to see if I can reach it. It may be an issue. I'm in the stage of reorganizing my office where things look worse than they did when I started. There you are. Little Native is uh, my favorite smaller spider co. Definitely. Native 5 is really good. Uh, Black Hawk Ninja Beast, do you like guns? No, I just, I'm not into them. I've, I've owned one, I've owned several. I grew up with guns. I used to have a concealed carry permit, but I don't have one anymore. And not really in a huge desire to uh, to get another one. Um, if you wonder who loves you the most, lock your dog and your wife in the truck and see who's more excited when you open it. I would imagine probably, probably the dog. Chaparral's are really nice, too. Sun and Moon is a cool one. I like the regular Chaparral way more than the lightweight. Uh, what do you think about the Sage? I have a Sage. Oh, we're getting to the Spider Co. talk now. 
And where's my shaft? Oh, that is my shaft. There we go. The Sage 5 is an awesome knife. I very much like the Sage 5. Wow, that's filthy. I don't remember the last time I carried that. And I like the regular old Chaparral. I don't mind the peel ply carbon. You will see that. I, I usually leave them on there. It's cool. Uh, where do you rank the SOCOM Elite? In relation to what? As a big tactical knife, it's awesome. As something I want to carry every single day, it's not... Not something I carry every single day. How about that? Oh, um, I don't really know how else to say that, but uh, little native lockback is my favorite small spider. Yeah, I really wanted the lockback, and I never got one, and I, I probably should have. But I like the I like the fidgetiness of the uh, of the compression lock. It's just kind of cool, and I like it carrying it alongside other compression lock knives. Like I carry it alongside my Capara and stuff a lot. It's just kind of cool. Thank you very much, Keith. Good night. Have a good one. And thank you very much, Keith, for popping by as long as you could. I always appreciate it. I'm docking your pay 25% now. Um, Bird Crow 2 is a fantastic small life. It is a good one. Uh, speaking of cats, still liking the Protect Whiskers? I sold it, August West, but only because I like it so much that I want a fancy one. Does that make any sense? I, I sold my basic one because I want a better one. And I'm just keeping my eye out for one of the uh, tuxedo treatments or something like that. Um, and and I, I, that same thing I do with my Newport. I had a very basic uh, Protec Newport, and I really, really liked it a lot. And so I sold it and got, and got this one. It's just a bit fancier. So he had a rose gold whiskers. Oh, that's the one. I, I really want a rose gold whiskers, Joshua. I'm very jealous. If you ever want to sell one, if you ever want to sell it, let me know. Um, I really, I don't have a rose gold pro tech. A rose gold whiskers would be pretty freaking cool for sure. I'm calling the moderator union. You do that because it doesn't exist. So you knock yourself out. Newport is such a great slicey little knife. And it's, yeah, it's classy, but it's actually still really useful. It's by no means so dainty that you're worrying about breaking it. It's kind of like the Benchmade 940 of automatics. I just love the Newport. I think I may put that in my pocket at the end of this. Rose gold finish is too cool. Yeah, and I have a rose gold watch now too, so I have to I have to I have to have matches, right? Isn't that how it goes? Oh, that'd be a really good Instagram photo. I have an Orient Bambino in rose gold next to a rose gold whiskers whoa um SKM take smkw exclusive pro tech color scheme it is pretty cool too thank you very much brian ruppel hydrate i will do that um what's your favorite what's your favorite fidget knife uh my favorite knife just to sit and fidget with was the spider coast smock but i will say that i did sell it but i still really enjoy fidgeting with it uh i'd probably say still the smock Um, Slice Daisy, what's the one piece of gear you lust after but you can never see yourself buying, Derek Nelson asks. Um, right now, because I'm kind of into them, I can't see myself ever spending more than like 500 bucks on a watch. But there, God, there's a lot of two, three, four, five thousand dollar watches I want. Thank God, a lot of the really eight, ten, twelve thousand dollar watches and up, I'm not really into. But there's a couple of two three thousand dollar watches i would love to have i'd love to have uh omega seamaster i would yeah i would do very bad things for that but um yeah I, yeah i would say a really expensive watch um so i want to see the action on this haha -ha, just let me know when you want me to dive and watch yeah dirk dirk you're a bad influence dirk burning i I send him pictures, though, and he does like my budgety stuff. I do have good taste, though, right, Dirk? I just don't spend a lot of money. Validate me, Dirk. Tell everyone I have excellent taste in watches. I just don't spend a ton of money, which is good. And I don't, and same way with knives, I don't buy any knockoffs. I don't buy any fakes. I just know some brands that are very, very good value. Bolova Accutron. Oh, I saw one of those the other day. Those are really cool. Yes, you 
Yes, you got great taste in watches. You really do. <laughs> I like some of the ones you've sent. Good. Good. I sent him a picture of my new Orient that I'm getting that I'm super excited about. Uh, Benchmade or Microtech for autos? Microtech. All Benchmades are out the sides. So if you want... Oh, no. My, yeah, Benchmade does make OTFs, too. But I still like the Microtechs better. Uh, it's like a man with a $12,000 sound system asking, what do you have? Clock radio? <laughs> yeah. Now I've got a... I don't, I don't have, a, I don't have an expensive sound system. I think the, the sound system in my truck was way less than a gram. Uh, Dirk says the Hamilton options you're looking for are also really cool. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on the Hamilton. The Hamilton's going to, I've always wanted a Hamilton for years. And my Hamilton watch is going to be the, uh, um, when money starts flowing in from the new site, it's going to be kind of my little reward to myself. My wife already said I could buy one. This week I could have bought one if I wanted to, and I just didn't, I don't know, I just didn't, didn't feel right about doing it. Uh, what radio is in your truck? I have uh, an Alpine um, uh, touchscreen car, Apple CarPlay thing, and uh, four out of six of the speakers are decent Alpines. It's pretty good. doesn't have an amp, but it's all right. Um, I like it. Uh, it wasn't bad. I, yeah, the whole total bill was... Well, yeah, doubled in, touchscreen, big old Alpine thing. Apple CarPlay is amazing. The only thing I hate about it is there's no dial on it whatsoever, and I didn't pay the extra 150 bucks to get my um, my steering wheel things hooked up because I didn't think that many of them would work. And so the only volume I have, the volume up and down, is one tiny little touch button. It's just this tiny little touch button. I wish it had just had a knob. Um... Itchy Post says, do collecting knives help with depression if you're ever depressed? Yeah, for a minute or two. It's not the best way to deal with it, but yeah, sometimes sometimes it does. Do you have any experience with the MKM Flame? I don't know what that is, so uh, I have no idea. Uh, the Jeeper I have is stock. I need something that won't break the bank. I kind of want to keep the head unit the same, though. Um, if you're just getting speakers, JL Audio is what I like, uh, just for speakers. I'm one of these weird guys. I like everything to match. So when I got the Alpine head unit, I got Alpine speakers as well because I just like them all the match. Uh, what's the worst knife you've ever owned or just totally hated? Um, I don't know the name of the brand. Um, I don't want to throw him under the bus. He seems like a nice enough guy. Yeah, somebody else threw him under the bus this week. Those Brom Frank things. I, I still have them around here somewhere, but I have no clue where, and I'm not going to look. Um, super tactically, it came with a trainer one and one. You're supposed to use them for some kind of fight, fighting thing. Uh, they're awful. They're 8CR 13 MLV, and I think it was like, they're over 100 bucks, and it's just like, yeah. Uh, hey, Brian, do you subscribe to any of the monthly boxes or subscription services like coffee clubs or anything? I will be subscribing to an EDC box uh, very shortly. So you will see that. I will unbox it and tell you where you can get it. Um, and, yeah, very happy to have a partnership with that. Um, I'm not going to say who it's from, but I will say that uh, the employee of the month there went to school for that. And I really hope some of you guys are active on Instagram and watch those videos because they're the best damn thing on Instagram. Uh, he's gone. It's the Dalika. I miss that. Uh, it was on the, the Jeep can power the speakers without ammo or anything. Yes, but yeah, speakers can make a huge difference. Uh, favorite movie you weren't expecting to like? Oh, I know for sure what this is. Uh, I was interested in it, but I didn't expect to love it. Um, Robot and Frank. Go look up Robot and Frank. It is the most beautiful little film. It's about a guy with Alzheimer's in the future, and he's got a little robot that takes care of him. Oh, LHBR, my, my wife's on here. We're just talking about Robot and Frank. Tell everybody how, about how amazing Robot and Frank it was as a movie. They said, they asked for my favorite movie that I, I didn't know I was going to love. Oh, Robot and Frank is just the best thing. My, my wife and I both, both were teary-eyed in a good way. It was just amazing. Mrs. Slicey. God, beautiful, beautiful film. I mean, it's not even a movie. That is a film. 
I always kind of like to see, like put it a little above that, you know. That's a film. That's not a movie. That was great. Philomena was amazing, but I kind of knew that was going to be good, so I wouldn't say that surprised me. Um, eating buck knives, keep missing the boat, need to see marker other than their traditional is like the 110. A little bit. They're getting a little bit better. The Buck Marksman is great, but that was a, that's a few years ago, really. Um, what beer are you drinking? Airdinger, because I'm feeling homesicky today. So uh, going for the German beer. Even though I'm betraying my region because it's not a bit burger. Oh, what's the tiny spider cone bite? And as a little native. Justin Brown says, I love, I love Buck Knives. You're not the Justin Brown I know, are you? I'm sure you're not, but yeah, I know a comedian named Justin Brown. I know you're not because you haven't made me angry yet. So, <laughs> hope you guys can hear our kids yelling in the background. Can't hear our kids in the background. Told them to shush. I haven't. I can't hear the kids, so I don't think they can. Uh, I really want a little native. What's the MSRP? I think they're like 120, 125, something like that. Do you plan to do more fixed blades in the future, specifically smaller GC variety? No, because uh, other people do them better. That's just something that I always say is other people do them better. Once the site's up and running for the written reviews and for the little short reviews on there, I will, uh, I'll find somebody who's good at fixed blades. But I'm personally, I don't know much about them. I think other people do it better. Uh, do you, uh, oh, hello, Lavender Pants. How you doing, man? 126. We were at 170 something earlier. See you later, Lori. Tough to do her homework. Uh, what website have life reviews and stuff? Yep. Uh, Freedom Van, how's the site coming along? I'll let you know in a couple days. Uh, <laughs> um, not going to use the web designer that I hired. Luckily, I hadn't paid him yet. Luckily, I didn't have to pay him until it was done. And he sent me three drafts, and none of them are what I want. And, uh, I'm talking to my, uh, my web company on, um, that I used before that I kind of didn't want to use cause they're a little more expensive, but, um, I'm talking to them on Tuesday and just gonna have them do it. Just gonna have them install WordPress and them install vBullet. And then I'm just gonna have to make it myself. Cause I, I keep, I went back and forth with this guy three times and just nothing is at all what I want. And it's, it's already... Yeah, two and a half weeks later than I wanted it to be, and I'm just, I'm done with him. So I I fired him, and I'm just going to do it myself. We're doing it live! Oh, Lindy Lou's on here. Somebody just said, Lindy Lou, does that mean she's on here? I don't see her. Oh, the cat's, yeah, there you are, the nice meow. There we go. I keep forgetting you have two different names. What's that Slim Blade second to last in the... Bro, this is a Riat Bushido. You mean this one? That is a Protec Newport. Nice me out. I, man, I got to send you something to customize. I want to send one to you, and I want to send one to EDC Gearhouse. And I just, I can't, I, I figured out one, and I don't know which one you to send it to, but I really want to, not like, it's not going to be like a duel. I just have a couple of them I want customized, and I don't know. Thinking about customizing my Spidey Chef, but I don't know. I, I really am kind of attached to my Spidey Chef, but I don't know why, because you can just go buy another Spidey Chef. But I think I'm going to send my Spidey Chef my L562. One to each, but I don't know which one. Uh, it's, like, it's week three with my new Das Afamir Nimitz wallet. I love these things. They're not Das Afamir anymore. Open C. Uh, Freedom Van, it's hiding your thing, but no, cats. Nice meow is not the uh, not the uh, breast disease person. She's just a cool chick that uh, customizes knives in very very cool ways. Uh, how good is that True Don? Very very good. It's huge, but I carry it a lot. It's just a lot of fun. I do like it a lot. Gonna do chest from the truck with TPK. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. But uh, no, I, I don't. I don't think so. And she doesn't show her face on purpose, so the camera angle of choice would probably get me demonetized. So that's probably not what I'm going to do. 
Yeah, that's right. The burlap bag came open C. Yeah, I thought the same thing uh, that you bought. You weren't the only one. I bought my new, actually, it's in my pocket. I've only had it for like a week. Um, I bought this new uh, gun deck because I wanted a black wallet and the billing on PayPal said open C leather. And I'm like, oh, it must be my gun deck. And then when it showed up, it, everything said open C on it. And then I typed in the URL to look up the price again before I did one of the morning pocket dumps and it came forwarded to open sea leather. Um, how is the 3.25 inch Harsey? The more important question is, why the holy hell have I not had it out all night? Um, yeah, you guys love this thing, as do I. It is, it is outstanding. I don't know why it took me till 8.15 to finally bring out the 3.25 inch Spartan. Um, Okay, you guys want to know a secret? I'm going to answer this question first. Garrett Zell, what's your favorite flashlight? Uh, I don't really have one. I'm not a huge flashlight guy. I have some I have some decent ones, but I've kind of just acquired them. Uh, so I don't I don't really have a favorite one. I could do flame tie and spidey chef, yes, but uh so um you guys you guys want to know a secret? I wait till the end of the show. Nobody else is going to see this. So you guys have to promise me you're not going to tell anybody. You just want it. It's just for us and for people who sit and watch this whole video. So you want to know what my giveaways are? I don't know exactly on two of them. All right. Carson R made a pinky promise. So you guys can't tell anybody. You can't mention it in comments and anything. This is just for us. One of the prizes. I don't know which model it's going to be. I don't know which model it's going to be. But we're giving away a Spartan. I don't know which one it's going to be. I have no idea yet. Um, a, another, again... I don't know which model it's going to be. I don't even know if it's going to be a knife. I... I'm assuming it's going to be a knife. This is the one that's the most iffy. So it's going to be a knife. They said, yeah, we'll work something out for you. Um, unsurprising. Comes from this brand. I'm assuming it's going to be a knife, but I don't really know what, sure, what for sure what it's going to be. And a $500 gift certificate to Southern Edge Knife Works. And you can get whatever the hell you want. You don't even have to worry about it if it's on the site. If it's a brand that they sell, you can email them. They'll go get it for you. So, yeah. That's 20,000 sub giveaway. That's how you do it. If I had a microphone, I'd drop it. But it would damage these knives. So, um, yeah. Uh, giveaway is when? Uh, November 11th. Uh, November 11th is uh, my three-year anniversary, so that's when I'm going to do it. I should hit 30, I should hit 20,000, like, right about that same time. So, um, yeah. The, the Southern Edge Knife Works gift certificate is halvesies. Uh, they, they're kicking in half of it, I'm kicking in half of it. Um, Spartan is kicking in the, a knife, I don't know what it is. Um, and then Hinderer is... Now, if things don't work out, it's not my fault. Everybody said they were going to do it. So uh, we'll see. But um, what, how, and when? You're going to have to wait. It's not till November 11th. So, um, yeah. Are CRK not a thing anymore? I don't know what you mean by that. Of course, they're still a thing. Um, yeah, but it's, it's going to be... Is it is it Veterans Day? I didn't even know that. Well, that'll be good because people will be on. So, um, yeah, I did not even know that. Uh, yeah, so no Spartan. I, Spartan, I'm certain is going to give me a knife. I'm certain about the Southern Edge Knife Works thing. Hinderer said they were going to do give me something, and I asked for a knife when I emailed them, and they said they'll give me they'll work something out. So I assume that means I'm getting a knife, but I don't know. It might just be some swag. If it isn't, I'll figure out a way that it's going to be a Hinderer. If they don't give me one, I'll freaking buy one if I have to. So. Chris Reeve not worth it anymore. No, absolutely. No, absolutely. They're still absolutely worth it. I still love Chris Reeves. I have three of them. 
Use your phone volume. I don't know what you're talking about. Almost knocked a knife over. <laughs> like Metal Complex. God, I love I love that guy, but I do love making fun of him. Um, uh, we veterans, we will be out enjoying the day. Yeah, but when I announce a giveaway, you have like a week to enter it. You don't have to enter it like right that minute. But it's my three-year anniversary, so that's when I'm going to do it. Thank you, Itchy Butt. Have a good night. Thanks for coming out. Can I please see my new knife one more time, Sean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. I was like, what one? Yeah. I have the memory of a squirrel. You see when he nicked the DLT smock? Class? I did. That's why I keep referencing it, because it made me laugh very, very loudly, because I've almost done that so many times. I've cut myself in videos often and had to reshoot the whole damn video because I got a tiny little nick. Well, thank you, TPK. I appreciate it. Yeah, I wanted to hit 20,000 by three years, and I think I'm barely going to make it. So, um, And honestly, when I set that goal like a year ago, I didn't think I was going to hit it. I was going to be happy with 15,000, but yeah, it's going to be... I'm probably going to hit 20,000 like November 5th or 6th, and then I just want to hold it off till November 11th because that's when I told everybody they have to have stuff to me. So that is my call next week to find out um, exactly what I'm getting. And and I will do a little announcement van of November 11th. You'll probably have a week or so to enter. And then uh, I got to figure out how I'm the hell I'm going to give it away. I think I'm going to do another Ask Me Anything. But man, those are a lot of work. If I do, it will be the very last Ask Me Anything. You guys are very respectful. You're very cool. You ask great questions. But there's so many to get through to pick out my favorites and it's a bit of a chore it's kind of like my week it's like three hours a day of my week going through questions i think last time i had about two thousand questions so and trying to figure out what are the best and what aren't and i filled up like four pages of a notebook like trying to write down what the best questions were um last time so uh, do you have a Rockstead kind of my grill company just brought? No, I have held one at a few of them at Blade Show. They are amazing. Not quite sure I'd ever buy one. It's just, they're so beautiful that I'm not sure I would, uh, I'd care. But you guys got to keep that secret so people don't know. I'm going to deny it. <laughs> Taz World, very good question, but it, but, uh, YouTube chose not to do it. Yes, yes, they are. Uh, no TPK in the giveaway. I don't know if she's sending me one. I mean, I could. I could make it a fourth prize, but I think my, I just want to keep it. But those three prizes, the thing I like about the three prizes is that there is no first prize. There is no second prize. There is no third prize. They're all awesome. It's just whichever one you get. And they're kind of all similar in value. So it's going to be cool. You guys remember the No Fear shirt stickers from the 90s? Oh, absolutely. Luckily, I was just old enough to realize they were dumb. Yes, it's on the way soon. I would assume that uh, perhaps it's on, on her person <laughs> at the moment. Uh... Nick Shabazz almost made me regret my Wii banner. I stopped watching him after that. I thought he kind of liked the banner. I don't really remember him disliking it at all. I love my banner. I think it's a great knife. Um, yeah, you guys will have to wait till I do the video to see what I got from uh, TPK. And all the Affliction shirts in the 2000s. Yeah, Paul, I was, definite, I was definitely uh, old enough to realize those were stupid. I should post... I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it as soon as this is over with. I found a picture of myself. I promise. Um, watch the uh, watch my community page if you don't go on the community page. I'm going to post Ultimate 80s Brian. I was like probably 16 in this photo, but I will post it as soon as... I promise I'll post it as soon as it's over with. You hate the banter, Justin? Well, I don't understand you. It's a nice little knife. It's boring, but it's really, really good. Any out-of-production knives you hunt for? I think I've actually um, got...
gotten most of the out of production stuff I really, really want. Uh, did you wear Jinko jeans? No, I, we weren't really Jinko people up here. I didn't even know what those were for a long time. Uh, I was a guest jeans guy, but pegged because yeah, it's a good boring. Exactly, Mikey. MC gave away 10, 10 knives last night. Everybody got a 99.3% chance of losing. Uh, what's your favorite rust corrosion free folder? QC drift or waypoint salt five minute or new Terra? Um, it's the probably the Spidey Chef, but barely. It's just because it hits my my hands a little bit better. Um, but the steel is much better on the waypoint. I don't know about the Terra because I didn't put it through enough to really be sure about it. I had the urge to carry a much larger EDC like XXL Kalashnikov too big. Actually, no, the, the XXL Kalashnikov carries very well for its size. I have no problems with it. Banner is great, but it does need a strong D10. I don't fly up. Mine won't fly open either. Freedom Band minus. Uh, my D10 is also well. I will agree with Paul on that one. And I did just buy mine. I, it wasn't sent to me by Ben, so. Uh, do you have any Italian knives currently? I have a Mazarin I like a lot. Um, no, because I technically just sold it an hour ago. I don't think I do. Do I? I'm not sure. I don't think I do, but I bet there's one hidden in here somewhere. That, oh, I've got some mud. Uh, yeah, my giant mouse. Um, name escapes me. I love it. Yeah, I have a couple of giant mouse knives that are giant mouse ace knives that are uh, Italian made. Uh, mini bug out beats banter. No, no, it's not the Iona. I don't have an Iona at the moment. Um, the the really good one. <laughs> They're all good, but uh, the Vox one, the, the great Ergos. It's I know it's in a spot where I can't get to it at the moment, or I just turn around and grab it, but. I'm cleaning and rearranging my office so I can do an office tour with you guys. But uh, it's not the grand. Biblio. There you go, Andrew. Yes, the Biblio. I love my Biblio. Oh, and the Spy Opera is Italian. You're right, Tackle Central. I forgot about that. Spy Opera is awesome. And if you guys want to see it, there will definitely be a battle to the death between this and the Spy Opera. Pretty similar price, very similar purposes. Even both have my Carta handles. I wish I could afford the aluminum Iona. The aluminum Iona is very nice. It's very hard to say, though. I just learned. Aluminum Iona. Sounds like a form of cancer. Clyde looks amazing with Love One. I, I had a Clyde. I didn't I didn't love it. It was it was really good, but I wasn't like in love with it. How's your Malibu doing after some use and carry? Do you carry I carry it a lot and it's doing great. It's actually broken in really well. My my uh Malibu is the second one out of the production line. So when I did get it, it did have a little bit of button stick, but it's all gone now. Oh, I just went and watched the MC incident because you guys talked about it. <laughs> Chris B. It was very funny. He was like, no, 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 it's just some just some debris. I knew as soon as he did it what happened. But you know what, honestly, on G10, you can put a little nick in it like that. You rub some mineral oil on it, and it completely disappears. I have this. I put it at this on G10 all the time because G10 dries out. I, my house is always kind of dry. So, yeah, I like this white mineral oil. You just put it on G10, and it makes it pop, makes the color pop a bit more, and little scratches and stuff that look white just completely disappear. Brian, can I get a Go Braves? No, you can't get a Go Braves. I'm a Yankees fan. Um... Nice meal. All right, guys. Got to go record a video before it gets too late, but I want to stop by and say, yeah, thank you very much for stopping by. And yeah, I got to get you something to customize. I don't know what. We'll brainstorm about what I want. I think I'm going to send the chef to you and send the uh, 0562 to, uh, to EDC Gearhouse. The one on the far left looks cool. What is it? This is a Andrew Demko MG8015, which they don't make anymore. This is one of the uh, mid tech versions, but you can get a cold steel 8015, which is extremely similar. Extremely similar. But this is a bit pricier and uh, mid tech. 
I'm not going to give it go, Braves. Well, the Yankees aren't in the championship. No, nope, but good young team. Still going to be great for years and years and years to come. Uh, do you ever the Boker Excalibur? Yeah, I think I did a review on it. I don't know. Everything bleeds together. Chaz's world, I'm sorry. But I think I did a review on it. Sounds good, imagination. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out. Uh, favorite thing you can say about a knife, but not your wife. Um, uh, nice thick handle, I guess. Can't say that about my wife. I'd get murdered if I ever said that. Uh, beautiful scales. Nice contours. Well, like a nice contour is like a shoe like that, but. Uh, it's got a loose action. When you, that's the kind of thing you don't say about your wife. You say it about your girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. I just have a wife. I'm a very, very nice... I'm a very, very well-behaved husband. Any days of gallivanting are uh, far, far, far beyond me. I'm a very calm and boring old man now. Finger flicks well. I think you could... I think I could get away with that. I think she'd laugh at that. But, uh, yeah, we're at, we're at an hour and a half. Actually, speaking of my wife, I have to give her a hand with something, so I'm going to wrap this up. She's doing homework, and she's working on a presentation, and she wanted to read it to me and ask my opinion, So, which is cool that she likes my opinion about stuff. So um, uh, I will, uh, I'm going to wrap it up there. So it is a, uh, 8.30. We'll be back next Sunday. And, again, don't tell anybody about the giveaway. Don't tell me about they want to be a giveaway, especially the hinderer, because I'm not positive it's going to happen yet. So don't go ask a hinderer what they're going to give me, because you might make them mad and they won't give me anything. But because I, I don't know yet, but uh, yeah, definitely going to give away Spartan. Definitely going to give away 500 bucks in a gift certificate. So it's going to be freaking awesome, and I'm so excited. I couldn't hold it in anymore. Talk to you next time. I've been Brian. Have a good one.